So string is a, a group of characters or a sequence of characters that is called a string. String is a class in Java. It is an immutable class. What is mean by immutable? Which is a constant object which cannot be changed once it has been created. Once you create a string object, you cannot modify that. That's why a string is a final class, basically. It's a constant. Whenever we change a string, a new object is created, a new instance is created. Then how can you create immutable strings? You can create immutable strings using string buffer and string builder classes. String buffer and string builder classes you can use to create a mutable strings. What is mutable strings? Modifiable strings. That means you can modify same string, but with the string class, it is not possible. With a string class, you cannot modify same value. If you want to modify, you have to use a string buffer or string builder classes you have to use. That's the about string. So string is available in the java.lang package. This is a class. But string class implements C. Serializable, comparable, char sequence interfaces. Three interfaces are implemented in string class. Three interfaces are implemented in string class. Three interfaces are implemented in string class. What is char sequence interface? Char sequence interface is used to represent the sequence of characters. Sequence of characters. So you can write with the char sequence interface. Again, string, string buffer, string builder classes implement the char sequence interface. All three classes implementing this char sequence interface. So we can create a strings in Java by using three classes, using these three classes. One is by string class, you can create a string object. You can create a strings with a string buffer class also. You can create a strings using string builder class also. So what is the difference between them? I'll tell you that, okay? So string is immutable class. These two are mutable classes. So what is immutability? You cannot modify the string once you create. String buffer and string builder, you can modify the same string. So that's the difference between string and the string buffer and string builder. And so this one, uh, I'll, this interface is implemented in these three classes inside. So how can you create a string object? We can create a string object using uh, two ways. One is uh, using string literal, second one using new keyword. So what is string literal? String literal is created by using a double quotes. So whatever is enclosed in double quotation marks. So this is called string literal value. So this is the string object. String class, the object reference equal to string literal. That's a string literal. Each time you create a string literal, the JVM checks the string constant pool. First, if the string already exists, in the constant pool memory, a reference to that pool instance is returned. If the string doesn't exist in the pool, 
a new string instance is created and placed in the constant pool. So see now string s1 welcome string s welcome so now value is same right but referred by two references two object references two string object one is s1 is a object reference s also object reference but the value is same now it uh, exists right already exist if it is already exist what will happen it won't create another memory same memory will be referred by these two references. So this is how you can uh, see. So already welcome is present. That's why this same address is referred by two reference variables. That means S1 and S2 is equal. If you compare S1 double equal to S2, both are equal. It will compare the double equal to fuse. What will happen? It will compare the memory addresses. S1 memory address. S2 memory address will compare. S1 double equal to S2 means. Now tell me S1 double equal to S2. So you will get a true or a false. False, sir. Why? Because it is referring to the same memory, right? Um, but referring to same memory, why it is false? I don't oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So this is a welcome, and this is also welcome. Both having same value. So that's why welcome only one value is referred by two references. So the S1 memory address is same. S2 memory address also same. Then S1 double equal to S2. If you do, you will get a true only, right? Oh, same memory okay. address. S1 integer number equal to S2 integer number. Then why you will get a false? It will be true only answer. So this is the constant pool memory. And where is this constant pool memory? Keep memory inside the constant pool memory. Will be there. Keep memory inside the constant pool memory will be there. So this is only for specially designed for string literals. So specially designed for string literals. So that's why the string constant pull inside what will store? String literals. String literals will store. And uh, string objects are stored in special memory are known as the string constant pool. Why Java uses the concept of string literal? To make Java more memory efficient, because no new objects are created if it exists already in the string constant pool. If it exists already in the string constant pool. So to make Java more memory efficient, so they are using string literals. So you can create an object for a string using new keyword also, because it's a class, right? So how can you create object for a class using new keyword that we know already? So this one, string strov is equal to new string Java. So now, how many objects will create here in this line? This is another interview question. So above one, I told you that's one interview question. And this is another interview question. If you create object with a new keyword, how many objects will store in the heap in the memory? Hmm? So let me tell you. See, new string. It will store in the heap memory, right? Am I right or not? Next, literal, where it will go and store? Constant pool, here. It will go and store in the constant pool. Main new string will store here. Constant pool will store here. How many objects now? Total? 
Two objects. Yeah. Two objects. So with this, with this new keyword, always created two objects with the string. If you use a new keyword to create a string object, how many objects will create? Two objects. So that's why many people doesn't use this concept. It's unnecessary waste of memory, right? That is the reason. In such case, JVM will create a new string object in heap memory and the literal welcome or so whatever the Java. So will be placed in the string constant pool. The variable str object will refer to the object in the heap only. So this str will refer the object in the heap. So that's the concept you need to get. What is string literal and string constant pool? So string is one of the class. It's an immutable class. So string literals, when you declare, so that will go and store in the string constant pool. The double quoted literal is known as a string literal. And the cache which is stored these string instances are known as a string pool. The cache which is stored these string instances are known as a string constant pool. So that's the string literal and uh, how can you define string literal? The double quoted. Double quoted literally is known as a string literal, this one. So this one is a string literal. Okay, so that's the string literal and string constant pool. So let's see this string constant pool, this uh, green one. See, Java is referred by S4 and S3. So please understand this is the interview question concept. And the S1 is you created an object with a new keyword, one S1 object and S2 object, two objects. Now, can you tell me? If I do S3 double equal to S4, what is the answer you will get? What is the answer you will get here? S3 True double sir. equal to S4. True, equal. When you do S1 double equal to S2, what is the answer you will get? False. Equal, sir. True. No, false, sir. Why true? I don't understand. This is the one memory address. This is another memory address. Yes, 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 sir. yes, sir. Why it is true? False. Gayatri told correctly. This memory address is different. This is the new ah, yes, this is another memory. Why it will be true? Because this is a new memory address. And this is another new memory address. Both are different. That's why false you will get. Now tell me, S1 double equal to S3. It's false, sir. False. False. Because this memory is different, this memory is That's it, false. So this is the interview question tag one here. See, string A equal to Java. This is the one literal. String B equal to Java, same. So A, B referring to same memory. Now tell me system.out.printl and this is the interview question. So directly they are asking these questions. A double equal to P, what is the output? What is the output? True, sir. True. String C equal to new string Java. String D equal to new string Java. Now, if you do C double equal to D, what is the output you will get here? False, sir. False. false. So, obviously, it is false. String E equal to JDK. String F equal to new J string JDK. Now, E double equal to F if you do, what is the output you will get here? False. Um, because this will go and store where? Which memory this will go and store? Constant memory, sir. String constant pool. String constant, uh, constant, constant pool. Sorry. And this will go and store where? This one? Heap. Heap pool. And also heap this will go and store in the? Jetty. And uh, again, 
the constant pole. Two memories will create here, right? So mm. now, but E F represent the heap memory. Heap memory, not uh, no, that uh, constant pole. That's why E represent the constant pole memory. F represent the heap memory. That's why both are not same. Okay? So that's why that kind of questions they're asking, please focus on. If you want to compare the memory addresses, you will use a double equal to operator. If you want to compare the content of the strings, which method you need to call equals method. So that's the main thing you need to concentrate. Okay? So then we'll see the 